hello everyone and welcome back to another video it's the first video of 2021 which is crazy 2020 was a weird year and it flew by as well as dragon by but i think it definitely it felt like it went by quick so this is the first video of 2021 and i thought i would start off with the goals that i have for this year because this is something that i do every year i think i've done it every year for like the last three years i'm pretty sure i did it when i went to uni and i go through and write goals for myself for the year and i also reflect a little bit on the year that's just gone this past year is a bit difficult to reflect on because a lot of stuff that i wanted to do kind of got took out of my hands as i'm sure it was the same with a lot of people but i always go through and feel like how it went and then i think about goals for the year on coming if that is that word yeah we'll, we'll go with on coming i break these down in a few different ways there are a few different things that i do it might seem a little bit excessive but it just it, it helps and it's what we do so the first thing that i do is i just write it down in a notebook so i go through the things that i achieved in 2020 and you can see in there there's like a page full i'm not going to go through it because i'm sure you wouldn't like me just sitting listing things that i achieved in 2020 but then i also go on to talk about the things that i could have improved on in 2020 and then that then helps me set the goals that i have so i go through and I write them in here first and then I write them on a bit of prettier paper. I've done this for the last three years because I think I have them somewhere and I always do this this design. So I make this just so I can stick it somewhere. When I was at uni, I had it up on my notice board in my uni room but obviously I'm not at uni anymore, I'm at home. So now it just kind of sticks on a whiteboard that we have that I'm going to come on to in a second. But this is the main thing that I put my main goals for the year onto it and i make it a little bit like a checklist as well so they've all got like little circles next to them and i just quite like enjoying like i quite enjoy making this like i enjoy doing the pretty flowers down the side i enjoy doing the the nice writing and yeah i do that i'll come out the goals that i have in a second but i also just really quickly want to show another thing that i do so when me and jack moved no what's when we moved in it must have been like a year after we bought this ginormous oh moving the camera whiteboard it's huge as you can see so i'm going to take you off the stand i'm going to run you through the different sections that we have on there first so i can it, it just makes sense a little bit more when i talk about the the different goals that i have so hang on and i'll show you so first up we have aside for writing our week on so this just helps us stay like organized for what we've got on for the week so jack has a column i have a column and then if we have anything together we have it there then on this side we break down the year into six month sections so this used to have we didn't actually do it but when we first did it i'm pretty sure it was the middle of 2019 so we had like end of 2019 july 2020 end of 2020 and then we just move up every time so obviously at the minute we have july 2021 and then we have the end of 2021 as well we have different colors so the green is for both of us the orange is for jack and then the pink is for me then at the bottom we also have my I, we also have goals for the end of the month so i'll go through them with you now but i just wanted to explain the setup a little bit so it makes more sense as to why they're all broken down in different different ways so i think the first thing i'll do is run through just the goals that i have for this year because this is kind of the thing that I start with and then I break it down. I have different goals on here than what I have to on the whiteboard. Just because on the whiteboard I kind of break them down a little bit more, like more specific. Whereas this is just like the overall goal that I want for the year. So first one that I have is read 12 books. I love reading books. If you know guys know my channel, you'll know that I do a little bit of book content. There's another book video coming up on the books that I read this year. Last year, I set myself a challenge of reading 15 books. I didn't do it. I did 11. I'm gutted that I didn't do it, but I just lost my motivation for reading and I lost the time that I normally read because when I was at uni, I used to read before bed. And when I came back up home, I don't do that anymore because obviously me and Jack are in the same bed. So we just talk before we go to bed and then we fall asleep together. So I don't really read before bed. There's not really a reason I don't like if Jack 
like Jack doesn't have a problem with me doing it but I just don't do it so I kind of I lost my groove a little bit this year so this year I've set myself 12 books because I don't want to seem like I don't want to put something unrealistic but obviously 12 is more than what I've read this past year so I just want to up it a little bit obviously I want to read more than that but we've gone for 12 and then that's at least once a month obviously we don't know what this year is going to be like so I could read a lot more I could read a lot less but that's how many I've set second one is to hit 1.5 thousand subscribers on here obviously I love every single one of my subscribers and I just want to reach more people to be honest I am currently on about 850 and I love every single one of you I can't believe I have people who subscribe to me but this year I'd really like to hit 1.5 I hopefully I'm gonna do that I'm hoping to surpass that by quite a bit but I'm being realistic again hopefully it's gonna go over that but I would like to hit a minimum of 1.5 <laughs> Jack interjected in the video there Jack's just sitting in the background and sneezing away yeah uh, yeah <laughs> the next one is actually a one that I do every I've done every this is so dramatic I've done it the last two years Sarah I've done it I did it 2020 and I did 2019 and that is to make a memory every month. This started with, a, it, the reason I have this down is actually a little bit pathetic, but I came up with this because the, the new year of 2019, everyone was doing that thing where they put a memory a month on their Insta. And I was going through and I really struggled. I was like, I don't have that many memories that are like, when I say memories, I mean like really like stick out in your head, not like you've just gone out for a nice meal, like a really good memory. So I put that down to do for the years so I could feel satisfied and just make it, it motivates me to make some more memories. And obviously you can have more than one memory a month, but I just put that down for like a minimum. And I, it really, I, I really, I, I, I did it in 2019, I did. This 2020 was a bit more difficult. I think I did it, but I think there was maybe like June. I can't remember anything that happened. Was June graduation? No, July was graduation. So I didn't even like, I don't think I did it, but I tr it was hard, but I tried, but it was still hard. So this year I wanna make sure that I do it again. Even if it's just little things, I still wanna do it. I know it's gonna be hard with coronavirus still kicking about, but I'm gonna try, even if it's just something in the house that's memory worthy kind of thing. So that that's the one that's a reoccurring goal, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it this year. Next one is to do five shoots. If I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel, but I have actually started a photography business. I am focusing on weddings and boudoir shoots and a little bit of portraits and fitness, but mainly focusing on wedding and boudoir. I have done, I've done one maternity shoot, like boudoir kind of thing. I've done one couple shoot and I've done two weddings. And this year I would really like to hit five shoots. Again, obviously this has been pushed back a lot because of COVID. Like last year was meant to be the year that I started. I had a wedding booked in and obviously couldn't go ahead, but I'm wanting this year to make it happen regardless. I think weddings are gonna take a step back for a few years with everything that's happened and I'm gonna focus more on boudoir and couple shoots because I really really enjoyed them it was I, I loved them I loved doing boudoir so I think I'm gonna focus on them this year so this year I would really like to do five shoots obviously because I'm starting I don't know whether they're gonna be paid or free I just want to be able to say that I've done five shoots this year so that is number four the next one is less time on my phone and I feel like this is a lot of people's but for me it's just it's a productivity thing for me. I get, I procrastinate with my phone so bad. Like I will just sit on my phone and scroll on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or Facebook looking at nothing but just wasting time. So this year I want to spend less time on my phone. I think that'll also help with the reading thing. I think a lot of the time I scroll on my phone because I don't know what else to do. Whereas really I could be reading at that point. So I think I've got it in my head that I should only read at night when really you can read at any point of the day. So that is one thing I would like to cut down on and that's spending time on my phone. The next one is um, one that you guys might be aware of if you know my channel. If you don't, you might not, but it is have to be have a better relationship with food. If you guys are new to my channel, I have an eating disorder and body dysmorphia. So I struggle with my 
just how my body is at the minute and this year I would really like to make an a, 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 some progress in getting better with that I there's I'm doing what I can there I'm on two waiting lists at the minute for different charity services because unfortunately in Northumberland which is where I am I can't get onto an eating disorder service because we don't have one so I am on waiting lists for two different charities for some help and they're six months long so there's not much more I can be doing but I want to even if it's just in my head trying to work a little bit on my relationship with food I'm hoping I'll be able to see someone by the end of this year I have everything crossed but yeah I would just like I would like to have a better relationship with food by the end of this year next one is just standard one is save more money it's just to have more money saved so that me and Jack can do things that we want to do further down the line I'm not gonna harp on about it I think it's pretty obvious just save more money penultimate penult why did I even try and attempt to say that word penultimate 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 one is to spend more time outside so i love being outside i i didn't used to i was not an outdoors girl growing up i really really wasn't i despised it when i used to go on like holidays with my family i would stay inside whilst they were outside i hated it but it's flipped now i absolutely adore spending time outside and it makes me feel so much better regardless of the weather as well which is weird i used to only want to be outside when it was hot and now i'm actually coming to love the cold as well as the hot i just love it so i'm wanting to spend more time outside me and the last few years me and jack have said that we want to do more hikes but obviously with covid we're not sure whether we're going to be able to travel to do hikes because there's not that many we can do around here apart from like the valleys and the cheviot is it the cheviots do we have the cheviots here we have the cheviots here but we want to do ones in like the lake district and maybe go down south and do some so i haven't put more hikes because it might not be possible if we're not allowed to move the, around the country still but spend more time outside we don't have a garden either so we can't spend more time outside like that but i think we want to sp start just like spending more days outside like go find a picnic table and just sit on there for the day or chill outside that that kind of stuff it just makes us feel better and i just love it the last one and i feel like if you've watched my vlogs you'll agree with this one with what it is for me and it's keep the kitchen clean because we never keep the kitchen clean i don't know what it is about the kitchen it just gets a tip the it's not just the dishes piling up we end up just leaving stuff on the benches and we leave like chopping boards dirty for ages and i'm sick of it we leave it to build up for so long and then we have to do like a massive clean all at once and i just i'd like to keep it tidy in like all the time rather than leaving it to build up and get dirty then yeah so that is the final one of the last one for the 2020 so going now on to the whiteboard obviously like I said I have different goals on here we have the July ones and the 2020 ones so I'll go through the July ones and like I say these ones are just kind of like broken down versions of the main goals that I have so do you mind if I say the ones for both of us mm -hmm. no so the first one for both of us is be spending more time outdoors. Again, like I said, it's just exactly what's on there. But by July, we want to know that like we have spent more time outdoors, if that makes sense. The second one for both of us is to save two grand for traveling because we would really, really like to start traveling more. Obviously, this isn't dependent for this year. That's why we've put it as like save this for traveling rather than have traveled because we're probably not going to be able to have gone anywhere because of all this so we've put that down so that we have some money ready for when we can start going places if that makes sense then going on to mine i've put t done two shoots because obviously if i want to do five by the end of this year i'd like to have done some before july the first half of the year needs to have some in there so i've got ton done two shoots the second one is have more outfits i feel confident in and that came from actually one of these videos so i did the recreating pinterest outfits a few months back and i loved it i i, I really loved doing that video because i really struggle with like fashion and knowing what to wear so doing that let me come up with a full 
outfit and then when I was wearing those outfits after the video it just made me feel so much more confident in myself so I want some more outfits that I feel like that in and just make me feel happy so be expecting some more of those Pinterest videos because it really helped me out and the last one is to have 1,000 subscribers hopefully that'll happen before then because I'm on 850 now and I'm hoping I'll hit 1k soon but like I say I just want to make it realistic so I've put that by July the 2020 end 2021 end the goal that me and Jack have together is have travel planned and again that's so we don't have the pressure on us that we want to have traveled this year because we're not sure what everything's going to be like so by 2021 end we would like to have travel planned in because hopefully we'll be able to travel in 2022 here's keeping everything crossed for me i also have put these are in addition to the ones that i have wrote down the one the first one is have acne under control i know you probably can't really see it in this because i have makeup on but i actually have quite bad you might be able to see it if i come a little bit closer acne at the minute on my mainly on my right cheek not on my left cheek this started after i went on two little calories and i basically wasn't giving myself enough fats so my hormones have went a little all over the place so i actually have quite bad acne on my cheek and it gets really red and really really sore and nothing i've done so far has helped it i don't know how i'm gonna do this i don't know if i'm gonna have to seek a dermatologist help i don't know if i'm gonna have to go to the doctors i don't know if i'm gonna have to change the contraception i'm on i don't know but by the end of this year i'd quite like to have it under control even if it's like just a spot here and there like it used to be with my skin but I really would like this side and my jaw to be to be better so I have that in addition to my other ones the other one that I have is to have done a collab on YouTube obviously I don't know if that's an achievable goal but I wanted to put one on there that pushed me and that's to have worked with someone for a YouTube video whether that's a brand whether that's a small business anything so yeah the only thing so if you are a brand or a small business hit me up <laughs> the last thing that i have i'm not going to actually run through is the january goals i just feel like this is a really good way to break down the goals that i have into small chunks so i'll be doing this every month so for example one that i have on for this month is to started posting on my business social medias because obviously I haven't done that yet because I've been going through and editing my images so this month I would really like to start posting on those social medias and then hopefully that can lead to a few shoots so yeah that is my goals for this year and that's kind of how I organize them I know I could have just really easily went through and talked about them but I kind of wanted to talk about how I organize them and how I break them down because I think that's quite useful I think if you have a goal the best way to get to that goal is to break it down into small steps and then just keep hitting, hitting it and then obviously at the end hopefully you'll have reached that goal so yeah i hope that helped someone if you did enjoy this video please let me know please let me know what your goals are i find it so interesting hearing what people's goals are for the year i love it and if you have a way of organizing it and breaking it down in your head please let me know that as well because I'm just nosy. I like hearing what people think. If you are new here, please subscribe. Please help me get on that way to get my, my subscribers goal. I'd really appreciate it. I post every Wednesday and Sunday currently. It might go up to three a week, but I am struggling for content ideas at the minute. So normally it's Wednesday and Sunday, apart from today's video because it's a day late. I apologise. But normally it's Wednesday and Sunday. So yeah, that's going to finish the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. Better peace. Mwah!